We're here at the hills of Prestonwood here in Plano, and I wanted to show you two great examples of similarly sized and similarly priced homes with very different qualities. So we're starting here at the first one. This is 2909 Green Hill. This is about oh, just over 3,700 square foot, three bed, two and a half bath. And as you'll see, as soon as we walk in, it is not what I would call recently updated. So you've got these gorgeous hardwood floors. The floor plan is actually pretty good. You've got an office right off the foyer. On this side, you've got one bath, laundry, and another uh, bedroom, excuse me, the first bedroom with a walk-in closet and a door that Jack and Jill's to that bathroom. Then it opens up as you walk in a little bit more. You have formal dining and your kitchen over here. Now, the cabinets have been painted recently, but this granite is what we would call outdated these days. So this is something where the homeowner more than likely is going to put some money in updating. Everything's functional. The house is just fine as it is. It's been very well maintained. It's just, you know, 15, 20 years old on the updates apart from some paint touch-ups. So we entered in on this ground floor, but due to the slope of the home, there's actually a walkout basement, a significantly sized walkout basement. We'll get to that in a second. Back here, we have the primary suite. It's a good size. You have a lot of natural light. You have a lot of greenery that you face. Again, we're technically back here. We're now on the second level. So all you see is trees and greenery, very private. You have a good size walk out deck. Plenty of space for table, chairs, and room to spare. And again, you're just surrounded by greenery. This is a golf course lot. So beyond the trees, there's a little babbling brook right down there. And beyond that is the golf course itself. You're off the fairway. So it's just a nice, quiet, serene place. And I don't think the microphone can pick it up, but literally you can hear the trickling sound of the babbling brook right down there. It's very calming. Back into the primary suite, you can see that it's really a good size. You got your freestanding tub, walk-in shower, dual vanity, but again, it's, it's just a little outdated by today's standards. Good size walk-in closet, especially for a 1996 build home, uh, but I would say probably 80% of your homeowners would plan on putting 50 to 100K worth of uh, updating. Back into the living room, you've got the built-ins, really dramatic fireplace, and then the stairs go down to the walkout basement. All the square footage down here, the home is deceptively large. It's much larger than it feels if you're just walking around the first floor. So back here, you have your third bedroom. and another walkout patio. As we come back here, again, it's nice and quiet. You can see the golf course right behind me and you've got a fire pit out here. I mean, it's easy to imagine yourself sitting out here in the evenings, having a drink maybe a cigar and just enjoying the peace and quiet. This is not something that you get very easily, especially in this neck of the woods in Plano. Um, the, this is the premium draw point of this home. And this is why, even though it's not very updated, this home is garnering about the same price as the one that we're about to see. So let me show you the last feature of this home and then we'll go on to the next one. So off the living, the second living area downstairs, then we have what is one of the largest media rooms I've ever seen. This room is massive. And then off of this room is a workshop. This is, you've got one of your water heaters, one of two water heaters are in here, but this is a pretty good size workshop 
uh, for space that normally you would be using the garage for, this is a really good workshop space. You could use it as a wood shop, uh, you could build model whatever you build in there. It's, it's a really good size shop and great utility space. Now we're in the same neighborhood, the same rough square footage, same year build, same lot size roughly, but you're going to see some major differences. As soon as you step in, it is a stark contrast to the previous home. We have an office off to the left, just like in the last home, but this one, as you can see, is fully updated, as is the rest of the home. The fixtures, the flooring, the paint, the kitchen, the bathrooms, everything has been fully updated in this home. And that is the trade-off. That is what you have to decide with. Are, do you want a house with a lot of character, with a very unique lot that you're probably going to have to spend a lot of money updating? Or do you want a house that is fully updated and, by the way, has a little bit more natural light just due to the type of home it is, but that doesn't have the charm or character that you would be getting in the other home? You do have a small backyard with a significantly smaller covered patio. You don't get the balcony, you don't get the big patio, you don't get that scenic backyard. And in fact, this one backs to a busy street. So you definitely don't have the peace and quiet that you had with the other home. Here the fireplace is a much more dramatic centerpiece of the living room. You have the floor to ceiling tile and you have these very 90s uh, cubby cutouts for their backlit that make uh, a great display case for it, whether it's uh, you know vases, books, artwork, what, whatever you would put in there. So that's cool. The primary suite is a really good size and you've got plenty of windows on the back so this room has plenty of natural light the bathroom and the walk-in closet are similar size but again you're fully updated here you've got the quartz counters just like you have in the kitchen the other baths the dual vanities freestanding tub walk-in shower and walk-in closet so you find that most buyers, just due to the price point, due to the size and features, are gonna be walking both of these homes. So most buyers are faced with this very dilemma. Do I go for updated? Do I go for charm? Do I go for conventional and expected? Or do I go for unique and eclectic? Upstairs, you've got three more bedrooms, uh, two more full bathrooms, and a bonus game area room right here. So you have all the rooms that you have in the other home and then an extra bedroom or two, um, but without, again, the charm. You don't have that walkout basement. You don't have that serene backyard. So the question I pose to you is, which will it be?